Hi everyone and welcome back. I have some new antique store finds that I wanted to show you and I ended up finding some really good things that are different and some some things I've been looking for too. So I'll kind of show you what I got and I'll kind of explain how I'm going to use them for my journals. So let's go ahead and so we'll start with these. Um, I probably should have taken these out of the package. These are little cocktail invitations and I thought these were adorable. They're all the same card and they just say please come for cocktails and then you open it up and it's got this really great script. You won't see any pink elephants but there'll be a lot of you know what. <laughs> so um and then it has you know time date place and what I like about this is that they're they kind of fold so you could seal up the sides and create little pockets with them and they're they're small and narrow and I really like that it's just different shapes so they there was a bunch in the package so I got these and then they have matching envelopes too so um they're just plain envelopes but they're nice it's a nice size and they have like that patina on them that's really nice um to add to your journals and I can't ever leave an antique store without <laughs> grabbing if they have um, playing cards, like old playing cards. So they had a big basket of kind of pick your own playing cards. Um, so I just, I, I picked a few that I thought were cute. There's a, ch looks like a children's game. Um, these are by Whitman. And I got the rabbits and three of the lions. And then, so this looks like it's a circus theme. And I just thought those were cute. So those are always nice to tuck into pockets. Next, I found these scoring cards. And it looks like this is some kind of a game. And I'm not sure what kind of game it is. Um, it's it's some sort of a card game. And I'm not familiar with I, I'm only familiar with like rummy and go fish and that kind of thing so I'm not sure but I thought these were really interesting how I think if they have no they don't even say what kind of what the game is called um the scorecard has little pencils on the end of it like this and they're attached and then it has all the scoring on the inside and I just thought this was really cute and so I'm thinking you could use this in a journal place the card in the journal and use this as maybe like a bookmark or something like that. So I thought this was kind of fun or even, you know, you could actually write in the journal with a pencil, although it's kind of small, but, but I just thought this was something so different and it comes with a lot of these cards. And then I also just like the, the box as well. Sometimes the packaging is, is even better than the actual product that's inside. So I thought this was a cute little, little box that it came with. So I picked that up. And then, of course, I always have to get some advertising uh, recipe booklets. So I got this one for Minute Tapioca. Actually, I got a couple of Minute Tapioca ones. This one actually is different. Um, I, the colors on the front are just so so great, so bright and vibrant. And then they have all the, the fun illustrations on the inside. And then all the recipes on how to use... Um, minute tapioca so you can get some ideas on making all kinds of souffles and all kind you know pies and that kind of thing so but it just has really good pictures in it so I really liked this um, another one for minute tapioca this is actually a lot older looking and again just the pictures and the, the fonts and everything they just make for nice pages inside of journals so I really like that. And then this one, I, I like to collect crochet magazines too, like work basket and that kind of thing. And I found this one, um, knit and crochet with Aunt Lydia's heavy rug yarn. So this is just a nice little how-to booklet on how to make different crocheted things like fishnet triangle to wear on your, your head. Um, just some really just kind of fun ideas, dishcloths, um, crocheted robe. So again, the colors and the pictures are just a lot of fun. So 
um, and it'll be like that. And then this is just a box that I saw. It was kind of tucked in among everything else. And I love the, the graphics on this. And it's an old uh, candy box. And it's in, I mean, it's not in the greatest condition, but it's in pretty good condition. And I like the idea of using these boxes to maybe store vintage greeting cards. Just something fun to kind of add to the craft room. And it actually still has the little... Um, little paper inside for the candy. So, I mean, this is even a nice little textural element you could add to your journal too. So, so I, I couldn't pass that up. And then I just got another, this is the bread basket, another recipe booklet. Again, with the great colors. I have so many of these, but I just, I really like them. And every once in a while, I'll, I'll just take a page and add it to the the journal that I'm making and it just adds nice color and it's just it has that nice kind of retro adds that nice retro element to it and then this was kind of a different find these are some old milk cartons they've never been used and they were just flat in a big basket and I thought I could either there's a lot of different things I could do with them I could actually make a mini journal out of these like maybe cut them in half um, there's a smaller one here and then kind of a more narrow one here. Um, so I don't know. I just, I really, again, I like the graphics and the colors. So I thought I would pick a couple up and, um, I could even use them for a journal page. Um, who knows? So I just, I thought this would be nice just to have a couple of these on hand for, you know, just to add some creativity to my journals. And then this was a really fun find. This is called, I'm not even, oh, I'm out. Okay. Um, it's a multiplication division flashcard game. And the great thing about this is that it's got this really nice box with it. And then inside it has a ton of game cards. So it looks like it's some kind of a bingo game that, that, that is for kids to practice their multiplication tables. So it comes with not only all of these cards these big that comes with the big square cards but then it also has narrower cards with it and this fun spinner and then it's got two different colors it's got pink and it's got yellow yellow for the division and then it has a bunch of little game pieces with it which would be great to use for maybe tabs on the edge of a page um, or even like confetti if you make a little confetti pocket or something. So it's got these and then it also has these score sheets for, for keeping score for the game. And there was a bunch of these in here too. So I thought that's just nice to add as a page, maybe a journaling page or something inside of the journal. So, so this is a really great find. And then next I found this, this book, this is serving, ri serve rice and shine. So it's basically all different ways to cook rice, all different recipes for rice. So, um, I like this book because of the graphics on the front of it. And I was thinking I could even use, maybe use this cover, um, to create my own journal. And just inside, it's got some color pictures that are really nice. <laughs> some interesting ways to use rice in a recipe. Um, but again, I just, I love all these, these retro recipes. They're really, they're really fun. So I picked that up and then I also got a couple of books. I got a bird book, which I actually don't have any, um, bird or wildlife books. And I thought this would be a nice one. I don't usually use birds a ton in my journals, but I like the way that this booklet looked and the, kind of the the graphics inside of it too. So just kind of a, um, these are seashore and wait, wading bird, birds. So I thought this would be kind of a fun, fun little booklet to pick up. And then I also like to get these science magazines because there's a lot of different ways you can use them. They have really great covers with the, the graphics. They also have, um, this one doesn't have color photos. Some of them do, depending on which ones you get. But I also like 
the ads that they have inside because those are great to add to your journals too just for some kind of fun fun things so so I picked up one of those magazines and then these are really great I found I got another vintage greeting card this is just a hope you're feeling better card and it's got a nice raised uh, design on it with flowers and then I found a bunch of these pocketed cards I don't know I'm thinking these were shower invitation cards and they just came like this they had an envelope that went with them and it's just a little pocket here and I thought that's perfect for a, a journal page it would fit perfectly in a journal and there's a couple of different uh, illustrations that I picked up just I got a little bit of each and I thought these were just so pretty but they all have the little pocket in them so I thought that was a really good find and then the last thing I found were these coasters and I am always on the hunt for paper coasters there I never see them um, there's a lot on Etsy and I do I have picked up a few things on a few coasters on Etsy which are really great but these I found on my own and they're they're almost like a they're a coaster slash ashtray <laughs> so um it's there's a bunch of these they're like kind of paper or sort of like metallic paper and they just have some fun pictures of poodles with some kind of fun sayings on them so um I thought these were cute and I can use them you know as kind of little tuck in in a in a page or even um you know add it to you know at, maybe punch a hole if I'm using a, a ringed journal and kind of add those to the inside so lots of I figured it's just, and I could even cut off the edges and just use the inside too um just to have the fun pictures of the dogs but I thought these were cute and again I like the box too I thought that box was was fun too with the pink so so that's everything from my trip to the antique mall. Let me know if you have any questions and be sure to check out my videos all about junk journaling. I do, I do both card making and junk journaling on this channel. So I try to divide everything up um, by playlist so you can kind of pick and choose what you want to see. But I have a lot of um, junk journals, um, kind of flip throughs. Also how I organize my junk journal supplies. You can see how I do that and where I put these things. So, so definitely take a look at those and thanks for joining me today and I'll see you in my next video.